I've always been interested in creating works which the viewer is unsure how to feel about it. Uh, it's maybe beautiful, but at the same time unnerving. And that is <clears throat> consistent through all of my work, although from 2006 onwards, I started using beauty and landscape and the sublime uh, to draw viewers in. But again, they're, they're beautiful, but at the same time quite unnerving or unsettling. So the viewer isn't entirely sure how to feel about the work. And with the newer work in particular, I'm interested in the role of science fiction, um, looking at our, our potential futures and, uh, and experiencing what those futures might be like. And in doing so, it illuminates our present time and allows us to see it with some measure of clarity. I'm very interested in the apocalyptic sublime, John Martin, and the painters of that era. The apocalyptic sublime, in a way, has returned in film, in cinema, and we, we've seen over 60 films produced in, in the last 10 years, which focuses on some sort of apocalyptic scenario. And again, I think the success of those films um, mirrors a kind of anxiety that the public feel on the whole about our increasingly uncertain future. So I'm interested in, in uh, the apocalyptic sublime, those painters, but I'm also interested in its return in film, and I'm, and I'm in a way playing with that. Usually I will start by visiting an existing location on the planet and film it, and then shift it into these strange environments that, uh, that I make. So I'll bring the footage into a computer and then add special effects. Um, with the, and, and every work actually that I produce requires learning a new set of uh, tools, digital tools to do that. So either it's a, a new software program or several software programs or an aspect of a software program that I've never used before. What is great about the, the Grundy exhibition is that here you have to you have to go through uh, the Great Destroyer. You have to actually wander through this virtual forest to come into this other other work, and um, and that's that's got a really lovely feeling to it. It feels great to have the work shown together and to be able to to um, see how they they are functioning together because I haven't I haven't haven't done that before, um, and and with the Grundy space it's. It's got a, a flow and a feeling to it that's um, quite, quite unique, and I think that it won't, it won't look like this anywhere else. Um, I was told very early on when I came here that it was very, very North American looking and that the British public might not be able to relate to it uh, because of the wide open spaces in the same way that, that North Americans would. But actually, that has not been true. I think that... Um, uh, I've, been, I've been really pleasantly surprised by how willing the British public is to go there with me.